Hey YouTube, this is Firewatch23, and I welcome you back to the Let's Play of Metroid Fusion. When we last left off, we just got back up to the main deck, and we're now going to head towards the habitation deck to see if there are life forms there. But, I want to go grab an item that I missed earlier. Thanks to one of my old viewers, Andros. But actually, I'm gonna head this way first. Gotta head up. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? I need the bomb, are you kidding me? I need a power bomb before I can get back there. I don't have it. But I will be able to get it. There's not the main elevator we open across with it. So, let's go back. I didn't realize it did that. Yeah, but I gave it away. That, you need a power bomb to get by that. We don't have that yet. Let's head up to the habitation deck. I'm looking for the creature who's the being or beings who are still alive on the habitation deck. A uh, happy new year, everybody. It is December 31st as I record this video. Happy New Year! Woo! I don't even really know that song. Up. So, I know there's quite a few items we can get here if we are studious enough to do it. You notice again the ice missile just merged with the super missile, so now we have a super ice missile. <laughs> now on the habitation deck. Oh, it's those creatures from Super Metroid. You know, this would be a good time to address something that uh, somebody, uh, Kev Caviar, asked me on a uh, comment on my channel. He asked what game I like better, Super Metroid or Metroid Fusion. I actually kind of have to give the nod to Metroid Fusion, only because. Like this game, whereas I feel like I feel like you can play this game much more casually than you could Super Metroid. I feel like Super Metroid you couldn't really play casually. I feel like this you could kind of casually play. Ectones and Decorias. I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet again here in the past. They've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where did they run to? I hope they're safe. next thing is going to be to get to a, a navigation room. So the 
survivors were not human, most unfortunate. We can now confirm the deaths of the whole crew members. I imagine this was the case, but I hope... <coughs> I had hoped it wasn't so. I'll pay the X only infected humans for knowledge. That form is too weak for battle. I'm sure the others are really food for the X. Samus, I think they are evolving or getting stronger. Some are now apparent apparently are appearing that, that Some are now appearing that resist your current weapons. HQ anticipated this and sent power bomb data as soon as the hardware team finished it. Is your objective clear? Download it immediately. Our choice of data is an entry for one in Sector 5 Arc. Go now. Off to Sector 5 Arc then. I'll get the power bomb data. Good, because we need it to get through those, uh, those secret areas. Now that we've got the wide beam. Down we go. Shine Spark! <laughs> A little demonstration of Shine Spark dashing. Yeah, I just like this game more because you can kind of casually play it. Okay. Off to the power bomb data. You've been to this data room before, but I'll show its position again. It's the letter D. Yes. Now move out. <laughs> it's not that hard! It's the freaking letter D! Data room. Oh, data room. Get the bombs. Let's get the power bomb. Kind of neat how they did this too. You, when you're in ball mode, you hold R and press B. That's how you use power bombs. I was wondering, like, why couldn't we go through the way we did? Because SAX destroyed the door. Back to the yellow security room. We're actually just about out of time, folks, so... In the next video, we'll have to continue heading back to... Back to the... 
Uh, navigation room. <laughs> Wherever that room is, that Adam helps us. <laughs> so, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now.